Hey everybody, it's Mergo, and today I just want to go over two add-ons that I started using recently. Well, one of them I kind of used in the past, and I'll go over that, but this one I just started using, and it's called Legion Evasion Timer, and, uh, name of the add-on is pretty straightforward. <laughs> Legion Evasion Timer tracks all of the invasions, and when an invasion starts, it'll put a big old raid warning on your screen. Now, obviously it's started a while ago, but as soon as I logged in, it put a raid warning on my screen saying, High Mountain is under attack, and it lists the timing remaining for the invasion. And uh, I know the inv achievement to do invasions isn't that important, but I still typically do every invasion because I like buying relinquished trinkets. Like, relinquished trinkets are fun. <laughs> They're amazing because they can be really, really good rewards. Like, uh, you know, the Arcano Crystal is basically the best in slot for almost every caster, I believe. And, um, you know, getting one of those it, with maybe a Titan Forge Relinquish version would be great. And uh, because I buy the Relinquish Trinkets, I can probably do my Artifact Challenge next time it comes around for Affliction. Um, I've been spamming Mythic Plus, hoping for the Legendary Ring so I could do it, but I ended up getting a different Legendary, which is the Belt, which is really good, but again, not what I was after. And um, But anyways, because I was doing these invasions constantly, I ended up getting a Relinquished Titan Forge version of Oakheart's Gnarled Root. And because of that, I can probably do the Artifact Challenge, because the effect is uh, your ranged attacks have a chance to deal an additional 346k damage over 6 seconds and reduce the target's movement speed by 30%. I was very, very close as is. Paired with that, I think I should be able to do it. So, thank you Invasions, and um, this add-on will help me just get even more Invasions so I can buy more Relinquished Trinkets. I just like Relinquished Trinkets. <laughs> But, as you see, it shows all invasions coming around, so at Saturday at 7 a.m., if it starts at 7 a.m., uh, it'll obviously last till 1 p.m. Uh, you know, just simple math there, just add six hours. Sunday at 1.30 a.m. is obviously going to be till 7.30 a.m. Now, I probably won't make that evasion, of course, but um, the people on Oceanic servers which are part of the US servers, get the same stuff as us. So Sunday at 1.30 a.m. is like the afternoon for them, meaning they can obviously make that invasion. Um, that's why I like this add-on. You know, I just picked it up, but definitely handy for me. Uh, another one is World Quest Assistant. World Quest Assistant is like the replacement for World Quest Group Finder, which Everybody knows World Quest Group Finder got killed off by Blizzard, and I kind of understand why, because I used to use World Quest Group Finder, and what would happen is when you'd zone into any World Quest, if you never use this add-on, when you zone into a World Quest, it would immediately find you a group of people doing that World Quest, you'd, you'd, you'd be in a group, you'd get it done fast, and it was a really cool add-on, like it automated everything, and as soon as you were done and you left, you left the group. It was just a really great add-on, but... When I was using it, and this is probably why Blizzard, I don't know the specifics behind like how the, the uh, cross realm zone stuff works and all that. But when I would join a group with people that were on like the Brazilian servers, um, I would zone in. I do the world quest. Everything would work fine. And then as soon as I would leave the world quest, my latency would get absolutely demolished and I would for some reason get stuck on the cross realm zone of the Brazilian servers or something like that it was really really strange when it would happen and at first I thought it was just a bug um, and then it kept happening over and over and then I realized it was only happening with World Quest Group Finder and um, I, I don't know how it was I don't know why it was being affected but when it would happen I would literally have to log out log on another character log out of that character then log back onto the character that I was using because for I would just get like stuck on there and I had to force log them out it was really strange and uh, I ended up finding out that it was World Quest Group Finder that was causing the problem and that must have been causing a problem for a lot of people or something with the Blizzard servers because they ended up saying World Quest Group Finder was banned and World Quest Group Finder just put like their update as goodbye. <laughs> they, I don't think they've updated it. So World Quest Assistant came out, and uh, it's it's a really good replacement. Like it pretty much does the same thing. And I guess joining groups like this has no effect. I, I you know I I don't know again the specifics behind these mechanics, but you know if it works great. I did like World Quest Group Finder, and this is a very adequate replacement. 
So when you zone into a world quest, like I'm about to do right now, it's going to ask, would you like to find a group for Born of Fell? And if you say yes, and then you just see the group here, you click apply to groups for this quest, accept, and it's going to put you in a group with anybody using World Quest Assistant. And um, I'm going to go ahead and leave. I don't want to, you know, be a burden because obviously I'm not helping here. But that, it's, you know, that's it. That's all you got to do. And um, really great because, hey, isn't that pretty much what World Quest Group Finder is? Just not automated. You know, you have to do it by yourself. Um, so as long as the lag doesn't come back, I intend to use this all the time. I, I liked having groups for it because it just meant you could crush World Quests even faster. So hopefully those add-ons are useful for you. Again, I like myself relinquished trinkets. So uh, hopefully uh, this invasion helps me not miss so many invasions because I get in like a spam of Mythic Plus or something and I just space out. And then by the time I look at my map, it's like... I have 10 minutes to do the invasion, and <laughs> there's no way I'm going to be able to finish the uh, final scenario and stuff. And um, that's why I like to set up. And then World Quest Assistant, it's, it's a great replacement for the World Quest Group Finder. So, hope those two add ons were helpful. I will be using them. Hopefully, I see you in some groups with World Quest Assistant. Uh, feel free to, you know. Let me know you, you saw and you're using it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.